Whoa! He's been like that for an hour now. Passed out cold. He'll come around. I don't know. I'm pretty sure he's dead. Hmm. I guess that's the end of the game, then. But with him being the main character and all, funny. <laughs> I didn't think you could die in LucasArts Adventure Games. Well, wow. maybe they're trying something different. When I should take care of him? Would you? It's bad for business, having him just lie there. Wow. Rest in peace and all that. Wow. The end. <laughs> hey! I'm not really dead. <laughs> oh, come on. Cut it out. This is so good. I mean, I know I'm supposed to be the great hero of the liberation and all that crap, but come on. Sorry. Oh. Whoop. Whoops. Instead, I'm gonna phrase it as a call to action. No, we're not going there. Oh! I guess we're going there. And the underground moves right in. Uh oh. Um, let's transmit this before I. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> oh boy. Um, it's a good thing I wasn't planning on taking off. <sighs> From the Rakata, the new Aspian must be killed. Do spies normally announce themselves? Oh, this is fun. Okay. Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. Whoops. <laughs> this is fine. It's okay. I did it. Okay. That certainly looks like it's being held by Rebel Scum. Guys, yeah, yeah, drop, the anchor. Anchor. drop the anchor. I'm not. I'm fixing a hole. Drop the oh, anchor. No. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> no! Did it, did somebody drop the anchor finally? Or? Drop <laughs> the freaking anchor. Thank you, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I, Sorry for um, that. Now oh, that we so we're gonna clip of that. One. Oh crap. Uh, okay. Hang on a second here. Ah, the dude, no. Hey, whoa. 
screwed. I'm blowing you up, not the other way. Ow. Damn it. Whoa. Ooh. You find a single silver coin, carefully polish it, and place it in your pouch. What a way to make a living. And hey, Bastila. You ever use the forest just for fun? You know, a little jolt to the forest to trip up some jerk who's ticking you off? I would never use the force for such petty and trivial revenge. The mere thought of it's preposterous. Aw, oh, come on. There's got to be times when you've thought about it. Don't be so stuck up. You can tell me. I am not stuck up. I merely have the years of training to give me the wisdom and understanding to see how childish such an act would be. Childish? Is that a crack about my age? You ain't much older than me, Miss High and Mighty. Just because you're some Jedi doesn't mean you can be a prissy little... Bleh. Well, that answers the... your question. Hey, that wasn't funny. I have no idea what you're talking about, Mission. Come now, we have to get going. <laughs> Please, do try to be less clumsy in the future. There we go. Okay, I'm Isaac Clement. Together, we'll create the most spectacular dinosaur park imaginable. And hopefully not die in the process. <laughs> Really, I don't want to die. Uh oh. <laughs> oh my god, that was I like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Um a little bit of a bumpy road with dragon skeletons everywhere. No problem. I prayed to the gods, and when they pulled it out, there you were. What is going on in the background there? What was that explosion? Careful, Uthgird. I know you have a predilection for setting off traps. Careful. Nope. Well, at least you didn't actually get hit by the arrows. I'd really rather not revive him. You're okay! Oh! <laughs> that was not Bembe. Oops. <laughs> I'm very sorry for attaching a number of mines directly to your body. <clears throat> oh. Aloy, was it? Yes. The one who cleared the valley for you? That Aloy. <laughs> we appreciate your service. At least we are ready for the embassy to begin. Didn't you just give the signal? Both sides must signal readiness. Until the Tanakh sound their horn, we wait. Yea, for as the first shall be cut. Shut up. <laughs> what the hell was that? Whoa. I'm not sure what happened there. This is really odd. Should I save my game? I wouldn't worry about it. The game was expertly designed to have no dead ends or death. Yet still be scary and have a sense of tension. You can feel safe exploring whatever you want. 
But I'd watch out for the signals. They can be very strong and disrupt the power grid. Now, do we trust these strange pigeon sister brothers? But playing classic adventure games has taught me to save often. That was true, up until Monkey Island. At least with LucasArts style adventures. Then the designers realized that death and dead ends weren't making the game more enjoyable. It was actually making it less fun. <laughs> this is making me so incredibly happy. Whoa. Well, that happened. All right, let's go for Circus Maximus. Well, you found me. Congratulations. Was it worth it? Oh my God, it's Glados. On a scale of one to six. I'd say I'm setting it up. Strong six. I guess we both know what's going to happen next. Delamine misses you. Here to shut you down. Your specimen has been processed, and we are now ready to begin the test proper. Oh my god, it is GLaDOS. <sighs> really appreciate it if you didn't make this difficult. I have a surprise waiting for you after this next test. Telling you would spoil the surprise, so I'll just give you a hint. What the fuck? I'm going to kill you, and all the cake is gone. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Good evening, folks. Welcome back to the Library of Lore. How's everybody doing this evening? We're going to go back and play some Skyrim for the first time since March. I can't believe it's been so long. I hope you're all doing well. I've already got the game loaded up and ready to go. We're going to have to see how it runs in 4K. I realized this is the first time that I've played the game since I upgraded my PC. So I don't know exactly what to expect. I do expect it's going to probably run pretty well. But we'll uh, we'll see how it all goes. Hey, Serana. Long time. Do we not have audio? What happened? It looks like we have audio. Maybe I need to reload the game. Uh, let me see, who do we have here? Vera Johnson, Mad, Bob, Aaron Lore. How's everybody going? No, it's not muted in OBS. Mandolin, how's it going? Uh, it should not be muted in Windows. It was working before I started stream up. It's okay. It, one thing I have noticed is that it loads ridiculously fast in the new PC. And we have audio again. So I just needed to restart. It's not a big deal. I had audio issues today with OBS not seeing my source right, but that was with me hearing the game and OBS not. I've had this happen with other games where, for whatever reason, oh my god, it's actually so fast. It's honestly making me slightly queasy. <laughs> hey, AMZ, how's it going? I, I think it's just a matter of me adjusting to it. I think it'll be okay. So we're going to focus on finishing the main game. This means we are going to abandon the DLC that we were working on. I'm not going to bother with Dragonborn for the time being. We can do that in a future gameplay. What is going on up there? Why is there fighting? 
who's casting spells. Uh, here, settings. Display. I'm not sure that's the same thing. I don't think that's right. Yeah. We'll see how it goes. It seems to be okay now. I'm not having any trouble right now. Mirak. That's fair, Vera Johnson. Ninety-nine apples, apple schnapps is ninety-nine proof. Forty-nine point five percent ABV with citrus vodka is really tasty. One to one ratio by eye. I'm pretty sure this is the big bad of the uh, Dragonborn DLC, is it not? I don't think he's really supposed to be just casually hanging out on a farm by Whiterun. He's not even hostile. How are you doing, Mandolin? It's so good to have you here. I hope you're doing well. Clearly, things are a little bit odd. He does like to keep his eye on me. I don't know, Vera Johnson. I'm not sure what's coming out. I have lost track of when all the new releases are. I know I definitely want to try Farthest Frontier. It's another survival game along the lines of Clan Folk and Timberborn and all of those. It looks really, 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 really good. It's another one that's in early access. But I'm really not certain what's coming out in the big games thing, because a lot of stuff has moved to 2023. Talk to him and see if this is what I think it may be. He is not responding. Gord's wanting to play, oh wait, that was pushed to 2023 plus. Oh, well, I mean, obviously Starfield. But I think that's another one that's been pushed to 2023, if I'm not mistaken. Alright. Well, if you want to just hang out there, Mirak, you go right ahead. Let's have a look at our journal. Where is our journal? Fate of the Skull. That was Dragonborn. We're not going to bother. March of the Dead. Ash Spawn have been attacking Raven Rock. We're not going to bother with that. That is also Dragonborn. Nordic Jewelry. Stumbled on a bandit attack near Raven Rock. That is also a th the thing. World Eaters. Irie. I think Odaving. Odaving. Wait a minute. The captured dragon Odaving has revealed that Alduin has escaped to Sovngarde, the Nord underworld, where he feeds on the souls of the dead. His portal to Sovngarde is located in the ancient dragon temple of Skuldavn, high in the Jeril Mountains. The only way to reach it is to set Odaving free so he can fly me there. 
Man, if only we had another dragon friend that could maybe get us there without having to set the captured dragon free. Persona 5 Royal is coming to the Switch. Oh, does it? That's interesting. I know people were fairly upset when it went to Xbox and PlayStation with a no Switch port in sight. So that's good news. Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous goes green September 29th. Yeah, I'm still... I will get that one one day. I'm not in a rush, though. It's really not all that appealing. I'll get it when it's like five or ten bucks. I like Kingmaker a lot, but I'm just... The Divine Infernal stuff, yeah. Raise the desk. Aaron, Laura, I don't suppose you happen to know how to uh, refund points. I'm actually fairly exhausted today and I have no intention of raising the desk. <laughs> and I completely forgot to turn off that redemption. I apologize, Fire of the Fire of the Fall. I really don't want to do that. Thank you. You have your points back. I, I don't want to do that one tonight. I slept like utter garbage last night. I'll forgive it. Thank you. I appreciate that. I will gladly do a terrible pun or dad joke. Headshot. <laughs> nice. Where did I leave the book? Okay, hang on. All right. Terrible punter dead joke. Why did the robber take a bath before he stole from the bank? He wanted to make a clean getaway. There you go. Uh, it very well might have been, Vera. It was too warm for me last night. Looks like it's quite a bit better tonight, though. I mean, granted, this is actual night, not coming up on morning when I normally try and sleep. It's only 16 right now, which is not terrible. It may be warmer by the time I'm going to bed. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, right. Trying to free the dragon. Hydrate. That I can also do. Destruction magic's fine. Just don't go burning down any building. No promises. Baron breakfast does look pretty good. It's not top of the list of my priorities for new games, but it does look like one that I would like to try eventually. I have seen it. There's also another one that looks like it's kind of right up my alley. I'm trying to think of what it was called. I think it's called Stationeer. And it's basically, you have to, it, it reminds me actually, based on what I've read, it reminds me a lot of Satisfactory, only it's Satisfactory with a better defined purpose. 
you have to build and run a space station, which includes gathering resources on various planets and doing all kinds of, um, you know, planning and accounting for gravity and stresses, and it, it looks really, really neat. Uh, where, oh, right, we have to go up further and deeper in. Those two, Last of Us on PlayStation 5 and Pathfinder, are the only two slated for this year that I can say for sure you'll want in the future. Uh, honestly, I can probably see myself skipping The Last of Us. I mean, I wouldn't mind getting the update to it. But I played it once. I don't really feel a strong need to play it again. Pathfinder, if I were going to get that one, and I will... I'll almost certainly end up getting that on PC, though. You have reconsidered my offer, hmm? Onikan Kron? You will release me, Roland, if in return I promise to take you to Skaldafen and stop helping Alduin? Yes, I'll set you free if you promise to take me to Skaldafen. Onikan Korav Gaim Mirad. It is wise to recognize when you only have one choice. I was watching Cult of the Lamb earlier. That does and look you good. You can trust me. Zuni Tarudis. Alduin has proven himself unworthy to rule. I go my own way now. Free me. And I will carry you to Skaldafin. Okay. Uh, oh. I guess I actually have to maybe... Um... Small problem. I can't talk to Odelving. And I can't... We can never rest easy oh, maybe... Enemies will not. Let me guess. I have to free the dragon by talking to Irolith. Hmm. Or not. I've got my eyes on you. Uh-huh. I tried Cult Simulator and it was disappointing. Uh, it represents a cult of lambs. Honestly, I was doing my thing where I had looked at the game and formed an overall impression without actually taking in very much that's specific, so I couldn't really say a whole lot more than that. Graphics kind of reminded me a lot of the Sexy Brutal, and in a way, uh, it also brings to mind Don't Starve. So I have high expectations of any cult game. Um... I'm starting to wonder if maybe this playthrough has gotten bugged. You're getting pretty good at this dragon fighting business. Thank you. Maybe I have to go up here? I can't believe that works. Ah. Never mind, it's not bugged. Like, my cousin's leaders are now in prison, and that's just the most recent cult involvement? Oh my god, Aaron Lar. That's kind of scary. I await your command as promised. Are you ready to see the world as only a Dova can? Zukrit of I warn you once 
Once you've flown the skies of Kaizal, Emergency, we're being the raided. Alera, El, Jaduri, and all librarians report to hospitality stations immediately. Have library cards at the ready. Jim Racer, how's it going? It's so good to see you. Okay, I can pause. Excellent. How are you doing, Jim? It's so good to see you. Let me guess, you were playing Star Trek Online? Did we? Oh, thank you, Aaron Lar. I appreciate that. How did Star Trek Online treat you this evening? Folks, if you've never been here before, my name is Gord McLeod. I'm a variety streamer here on Twitch. I play a wide variety of story-driven games with excellent character and narrative development, as well as strategy games, sandboxy games, um, classic RPGs, and retro adventure games. So if any of that sounds good, please feel free to hit the follow button. I also have a little bit of a video to welcome you in properly, which I'm probably going to have to kill the audio on Skyrim to play. So just give me half a second here. Hopefully, it won't scare too many of you away. Welcome on in, folks. Let's get the stream started, shall we? Whoa! Oh, crap. Oh, no. Uh, uh, runaway helicopter. Oh, damn it. Oh, no. No, no, no. No, no. Oh, shoot. 69 form factor. Aspect ratio. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, crap. Whoa. Yes, whoa. <laughs> okay, that... Let's go for it. Oh. Damn, I can take it. Whoa! Hey! I have not... I have not looted that, sir! That's a little preview of what you can expect around here. Tropico 6 or Tropico 6? Because Tropico 6 has been out for a long time. I've streamed it before, years ago. And yeah, Aaron, Lar, I heard about that scary stuff. Um, okay. This is as far as I can take. All right. Oh, hello. So what do I want? Probably... Oh, I'm already on Elemental Bolt. Good. I don't think you're Alduin. Hello. Well, maybe that is. He's not coming down to fight right away. Now, Tropico is amazing, Vera Johnson. It's a great series. I didn't play a whole lot of Six, but I really did enjoy it. Oh, hi. dead already. Oh. 
<laughs> yeah, you're a generic dragon. Cheaper spell. How did that miss you? Oh, I don't think that was the cheaper spell. Maybe I'll go back to bold. mind Heavy armor? What the hell am I wearing? Missing somebody. There you are. I guess I don't have Serana, do I, now that we've uh, taken a bit of a dragon trip? I probably should have emptied my inventory, too.
You're not supposed to be able to fly. Is he fighting on my side? Not that I don't appreciate the help, but what the hell? Wish the dragons were cuter, then it would at least be confusing as to if you wanted to mass murder them. Oh, that's fun. Hang on. Let me see what my inventory is like before we redo this. We're basically right at home. How much am I carrying? Wow, I've got a lot of gold. Uh, 371. Yeah. Might be just as well. I think I'm going to drop a few things off. A dragon in Dragon's Reach. That's something I never saw. There's a dragon here in Dragon's Reach. I wonder if I can skip all those conversations by just releasing the dragon. Lord Steps are nice enough to New Hamlet with a boring post.
So what has everybody got planned for this coming weekend? I have no plans and I'm just realizing now it's Thursday. I've been off by a day this whole week. That's pretty relatable. I've been doing a ridiculous amount of clip work the last couple of days, or at least trying to while I've been really tired. Oh. Mirak. Oh no, never mind. He's still there. You gonna help me out again in a few minutes? Just dropping some crap off, then we'll be back to it. Poseidon, yes. Well, specifically, I play Skyrim. I am not a fan of uh, Morrowind. And I do kind of like Oblivion, but it looks pretty hideous. But I like Skyrim a lot. Okay. No. Let's store that. Ever thought about getting into Elder Scrolls Online? I've thought about it, but there's one major stumbling block, and that is that it's an MMO. And I don't usually take very well to MMOs. I mean, there are exceptions, like Star Trek Online is not bad. But uh, for the most part, I don't really do MMOs. Quest items. Okay, I guess we have to keep that one. Wow, do I have enough iron arrows, do you think? <laughs> Gonna help you get started? I appreciate it, Poseidon, but I don't even have the Elder Scrolls Online, and I have no intention of actually picking it up anytime soon, so... Don't put too much effort into getting me set up there. I have tons of games that I would rather get to before I get into that one. Never say never, because it does have some appeal. I do love the world of the Elder Scrolls. And I have been curious about it on occasion. But it's not likely to happen in the next little while. Let's put it that way. Most of these are quest books. Uh, 
Actually, you know. I don't really need to take 10,000 gold with me. Hey, Onstara, how's it going? Even if a stranger somehow miraculously gives you the game, I will be very, very grateful. But it's an MMO. It's not going to jump up to the very top of my queue. <laughs> it really isn't. So please, mysterious stranger, think carefully before you commit. <laughs> That's not an enticement, though, Bob. The whole thing about it being an MMO is that I do not like interacting with other people in the games that I play. That's, like, pushing me away from it. <laughs> I guess I should probably keep some food, huh? Of course. Um, I would be even more grateful, Poseidon, but mysterious stranger. Think really, really carefully. I, it could be a very, very long time. It could be literally years. I was gifted a copy of Atlas which I was very curious about. That's the kind of spin-off of Ark. It's built on the same engine. It uh, It's a similar kind of game, but it's all piratey themed, and I wanted to play it, and I was gifted a copy of it years ago. I still haven't played it. It might be that long. It might be a very long time. Mysterious Stranger, please. Just think long and hard before you do that. It really could be a while. Yes, it's entirely possible. It could literally be never. There's so many games out right now that I am just working on. There are so many games coming out that I'm going to be working on that MMOs that are not Star Trek Online are likely to just get pushed back and back and back. And even Star Trek Online, which I enjoy and actively play on occasion. It's been probably a month and a half since I touched that one. So Skyrim together, not high on your list either. No, no, no indeed, Three Winters. Not really a priority. It's a good thing none of us know any mysterious strangers. That is true. Okay. My gold is safe. My possessions are safe. Mirak is still weirdly hanging around on a farm for no particular reason. Let's go free the dragon. If you wish to add it to the bottom of the list and wish to support the devs, then go ahead and gift it. That's a good way to put it. Glad they have a house in Skyrim anniversary that lets you hang dragon claws. Right out here. Nice well, it lets you hang some of the dragon claws. The first one, the golden dragon claw, for whatever reason, it absolutely refuses to remain hung for me. Every time I re-enter my basement, it's laying on the floor in front of the the claw board, or whatever you want to call it. I couldn't imagine playing Skyrim together or any other Bethesda game in a group, which is why I was disinterested in Fallout 76, even before all the many, many, many issues. Yeah. 76 was fun. I played it with people a few times. But the issues were too many. Oh, 
Uh, now, here's a question, though, Ostagar. Is your mace of Molag ball marked as being stolen property? Because my golden claw is. I was silly and turned it in at the uh, inn in, what's it called, river whatever. I probably should have just kept it for myself, but instead I snuck into the place again and stole it back after I returned it. So it's marked as stolen, and I... I don't actually know that that's why it keeps falling, but it certainly is a thing that distinguishes it from the other claws in my possession. Yes, Riverwood. The Golden Claw just fails to work correct. It's a known bug. Okay. Well, that makes me feel a little bit better. Although I still probably think I should have just not given it back. Then it wouldn't be marked as stolen regardless. Do you get to the Cloud District very often? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you don't. Right. I'm too busy hanging out in the clouds to be hanging around in the Cloud District. Those items are CC content. It's a shame, isn't it? A known bug, Bethesda will get right on that. Wow. I'm actually surprised that the community update patch thingy doesn't take care of it. Or, actually, that's an interesting point. Does it take care of it? Because I'm not running mods at the moment. I wouldn't know if it did. Not even Bugthesda, it's the CC creator. Huh. Oh, so you're saying it's not a problem with the Golden Claw itself. It's a problem with the hanging display rack. A dragon in Dragon's Reach. That's something I never saw. I can't make a promise that I would play any game immediately, Poseidon. I have a kind of um, a, a loose schedule in mind of things that I know I'm playing for the next little while, then there is room for flexibility in there. Like, I'm going to be going a bit lighter on the Sierra games recently, because I started hitting those pretty heavy, and I need to get some more variety into the mix. But when it gets right down to it, I really don't need a whole lot of games right now. I've got lots. What's new? I await your command as promised. Are you ready to see the world as only a Dova can? I'm ready. So, Brit of I warn you, once you've flown the skies of Kaisal, your envy of the Dov will only increase. Now, I will... I will say one thing. If people are absolutely intent on helping me get games, I think I did add V Rising to my throne gifts. But that's not for immediate play. That's one that I'm seriously considering getting into for the Halloween season, which is actually starting to come up pretty quickly now. We've got what? We're in almost halfway through August somehow. How did that happen? And then... We've got September, and then suddenly we're in October. And, you know, September, October is when I'm thinking the Halloween season kind of begins. Maybe the later half of September. Start to get into something like V Rising and play that periodically up until Halloween comes out. So, that one's actually coming up pretty soon. Let's see if I can maybe be a little more strategic about this. Oh my god. Oh, I forgot. Hi.
You know, for the most part, I just find Dragonrend really isn't as useful as people make it out to be. Now, uh, where is our arrow launching friend? I'm unclear on whether or not I want to take the dragon scales and bones and where the heck are these arrows coming from? There you are. Been to the Astronaut Forge, and I haven't been able to get multi-elemental. I don't remember if I've gotten anything useful at all from the uh, Astronaut Forge, actually. It's definitely a must-have if you're melee only, which is a silly thing to be, really, and I say that as a die-hard melee player, really. Gotta at least have bows or spells to support it. Flying dragons are real hard to hit with swords. That's true. Yeah, dragons and their whole breathing thing. How dare they breathe? You know what? I should probably save the game so I don't have to do all of that all over again. No more elementals for you, buddy. Have a good night, Bob. Converse aggressively. I like that. Hey, 
Hey, could you stop the moving a little bit? You're making it hard for me to murder you. Or you could just jump down here, I guess. He must have taken a reasonable amount of falling damage. That's pretty funny. He found the way down. He did. He did like 95% of his health? Hey, I'm good with that. Thank you. Makes my job a lot easier. Oh, right, I forgot there's another dragon. Gotcha. Thought you were getting away with it. Hey, I managed to not aggro anyone else. It really is on Star. It's so good. You just have to get the timing right so that you don't squander it. Or worse. Well, that's exactly what we're talking about, Jim Racer. I'm dual casting spells, which staggers him which means that he can't actually do anything. If you get the cadence of it correct, you can basically just prevent them from being able to act at all while you murder them. This guy, that's not going to work. I have to re-aim every time. So the cadence is going to be just completely off. I'm too far away to do it accurately. I figured that out shortly after typing what I did, yes. The trade-off here is funny. Against that melee one, you couldn't hit him at this range because his whole attention was on dodging. But the range one stops to aim so you can hit him, yeah. I don't like that sound. Oh, oh, there. Okay, there's like two right up there. I'm going to retreat a little bit. Make them come to me. to sneak by and dodge. It 
Stop dodging. Rude. And now I'm out of magic again. And still and take your punishment. Exactly. Oh, you are coming for me. Sneaky. No, they can come down. They just have to go the long way. Unless they happen to fall off an edge like the one guy. Sadly, you're not that lucky that often. That's true. Ah, you're lucky. these guys pose much of a threat to me. Hey, Callan Ray, how's it going? Stop making me miss. Oh, great. Two of them. Mostly okay. You know, 
Kind of suffering a little bit of an undead swarm at the moment, but nothing too bad. Ooh. What the hell kind of bow is he using? He really nailed me. Maybe on Sara. Ah. Oh. Delivery on the loot. That's so convenient. I almost feel bad for killing him. Almost. Oh, is there no way to go further up here? Hmm. This terrible feeling they're gonna come up behind me and cut me off. <laughs> Thank you, Ansara. I should have thought to clip that myself. I didn't. I'm slipping. Who can play at that game, sir? Now I know there's got to be more. Oh, there's one.
Now, is that another one? Yep, that's another one. It really is a genuine gauntlet. And it kind of looks like we have to go inside, too. In addition to all this exterior stuff. Potion of the Warrior. I'll take it, even though I'm never going to use it. Oh, God. It looks like there may be multiple places we have to go in. Do we have to go in there? For that matter, do we have to go in... I think down there is a bunch more doors. Drogger Dash. Skaldafen North Tower. I suspect what we want is probably not in the North Tower. Okay, so it's telling us to go there. This means, obviously, I have to go there last. Nice. Okay, I think we're done out here. There doesn't seem to be any way to go higher up without climbing. Which means this is probably a really good opportunity to take a quick break. So if you guys will bear with me, I just like to get up every hour or so and move around a little bit, stretch, and maybe grab a drink. So if you need to get up yourselves and grab a drink or a snack, grab some food, whatever, that's a really good opportunity to do it. And I'll meet you back here in just a few. Let me just uh, kill the audio first. Whoa! I'm not sure what happened there. danger from oh <laughs> oh my god oh that was kind of perfect <laughs> oh my now you know why they wanted to close the hole behind you you have become the unwilling victim of the dreaded cave squid Tough luck. You know, I think that might very well be the very first time I have ever seen the cave squid. Whoops. <laughs> this is fine. It's okay. Oh, crap. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, uh, runaway helicopter. Oh, damn it. Oh, no. No, no, no. No, no. Oh, shoot. Ah. Uh.
Oh. Oh crap. forget about it this ought to encourage me what i expect to be well paid nabby for the money what the heck nabby thank you i have no idea what that is you don't have to tell me it can be a surprise i will do an unboxing on stream after that arrives uh we're gonna be taking our first look <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's amazing. They call them silent machete kills, but they definitely don't see all that seem all that silent to me. It said don't touch. I warned you. <laughs> Ken, did you hear something? For those of you not aware, this is the castle of Daventry from King's Quest. It was probably just the Gators entertaining another Space Quest player. Go back to sleep, Berta. Through a strange quirk of fate, or was it, you have stumbled into a place beyond time, space, and dimension. You have entered the Daventry Zone. That's right, the land of King's Quest. This will not help you now since you are playing Space Quest. Why does the Alliance hire power? Okay, I'm back. Thank you. Thank you, folks. Are we ready to go in? No, we're not. Let's quick save first. Now we're ready to go in. That looks very much like a standing figure, doesn't it? It sure does. Gain some magicka and see if they come out after me. Actually, isn't it though? I'm very much the center of attention. Thank you. 
Not what I had in mind. There we are. Must have been the wind in Draugr. If I may have your attention for a moment, we would like to greet our newest follower. Eld will see you, or you can find a spot for yourself if you wish. Thank you so much for the follow, I really appreciate that. Welcome on in, you are now a lore seeker. Oh, we have somebody up ahead. Despair Doctor. I like that username. Welcome on in. get up there. There's nothing there. Guess maybe I don't. Just started the Dark Brotherhood for the first time. I never did it before because I wasn't ready to watch some of my favorite characters in the Brotherhood die. I cannot... Oh, crap. I cannot relate. I always destroy the Dark Brotherhood. Hey. Hey. Did I actually destroy the Dark Brotherhood this- No, I didn't destroy the Dark Brotherhood because I started this playthrough as a charity playthrough for St. Jude. Or... It wasn't even St. Jude, didn't- I haven't played this one since March, so it must have been Extra Life. And... Somebody actually... Uh, somebody in chat actually donated enough that they were able to force me to not destroy the Dark Brotherhood and begin the Dark Brotherhood quest line. Luckily, it didn't go any farther than that and I didn't have to actually complete it. Oh, it's a puzzle. Okay. We actually donated a large amount for you to do the first two quests, if I recall. Yes, I believe you're correct. So for once in my life, I have not destroyed the Dark Brotherhood. And in fact, I don't think I've got the option. There we go.
Good night, library. Don't forget to count your shadows. If you know, you know. Have a great night and a great stream. Thank you so much, Jim. The shadow thing does actually sound pretty familiar. Okay. So we have a snake there, we have an eagle there. What are we dealing with here? We have... Interesting. Hang on. Okay, this is a weird one. Didn't need those nightmares. <laughs> Welcome on in the game, Cleric. Oh, man, it's been years since I watched that one, Jim. With the 60th anniversary coming up, I should probably revisit some of those. Um. Okay, this is just a weird one. And so now what am I choosing the two between the two doors? does not appear to be the case. Actually, okay, so we do want to open this one. There is a chest in there. The angling of these things is interesting. Oh, wait, okay. I didn't notice the big obvious lever. So if we wanted to open the eagle door, let me see if I get this, maybe. Aha! Oh! Extra welcome then, Game Cleric. That's awesome. It's lovely to have you here. Okay, so now if we want to open this one, that was the snake. Yeah, that's what I thought. Something's going to pop out of there. And there. And probably several more.
Back you go. <laughs> now we can just hang around for a while. How am I going to loot him? <laughs> Man, that's a little creepy. Damn it. Ninety-two. Oh my, you jerk. No worries, no worries. I have a bit of distraction going on here myself. The dead keep coming back to life. It's very rude of them. That one does not want to open up, and it's really annoying me. Oh, we do have a chest down there. That's not annoying me quite so much. Glass dagger. Creepy. That's really creepy. Usually what I do is not do anything about Grelod. Cruel I know, but can't take me to the abandoned shack if I never kill her. That's fair, Despair Doctor. In most of my playthroughs, honestly, I never get around to doing the Dark Brotherhood at all. Because what's-his-face is the most annoying character in any game ever devised by humanity. And I don't have to... crap. I don't have to deal with him if I never start the quest line. I hate when the things I kill come back for a second or third round, yes. In Skyrim, I like to end the Brotherhood, yeah. If I do start it, that's what I end up doing.
god, I hate this. It's like I'm being shoved from behind. You, of course, aren't talking about my dear friend Cicero, right? You have terrible taste in friends, Winters, I have to say. What Gordon needs is the ability to burn the bodies of the giant spiders since if they were actually dead they'd curl up since Twist has taught him about the whole hydraulic thing. I already knew that spiders were hydraulic. All insects are. I didn't realize... Well, I, actually, come to think of it, I think I did know about the whole curling up in death thing. The whole possibility that maybe they sleep is kind of cool though. That I certainly did not know. Hey, what the? Okay. I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. Okay, so we need a whale there, and we need an eagle here. Sleep and maybe even dream, yes. And that was, ah, wheel. guess that was not correct. Let's try inverting it. We'll make the symbols face one another. Is there a third symbol that I'm not getting? There is. There's a snake here. And a chest that I overlooked.
That's better. This goes back to the game of the dungeon maintainer I want to play who maintains all the mechanisms for that puzzle and the wooden rope for the bridge and all. So like the Dungeon Keeper series. Cicero is annoying, but I can deal with him. That's fair. Lots of people like him. I can't figure out why, but it remains true nonetheless. So robbed. Sadly, yes, Rogue Fay. How are you doing? Welcome on in. I want it more RPG style, visiting dungeons on random worlds of various genres to maintain them. Having a checklist of, like, make sure the braziers are stocked and lit. That's kind of amazing. I think that would actually do pretty well. You could do it kind of like, you know, um... Your house flipper games, your power wash simulators, your viscera cleanup detail, all those kinds of things. Okay, I don't like the looks of this. Thankfully, I don't have a companion to come along and trip that up and open it on me. I don't disagree, the Rogue Fay. Cicero is amazing at being the worst character ever. Okay. Kinda hating this. What the hell is that noise?
Yeah, it's mostly the voice that gets me, honestly. I just can't stand the way it sounds. Uh-oh. Wow. <laughs> Not bad. What? Rude. Oh crap, I'm- oh. I thought I was falling down there. Cicero seems to be a character you love or hate, there's no in-between. I have to agree with that. <laughs> I definitely agree with that. Can't really do much with the stamina potion, but that's okay. Really, despair. You are rare. Don't trust that. Oh, would you look at that? Trap trigger, too. Probably something to set all that oil on fire. Bestest boy in the whole world. Well, there's nothing wrong with feeling that way. Uh huh. This does run so much better on the new hardware. I mean, you wouldn't think that it would make that much of a difference for a game as old as this one. But you have to consider... Oh, you son of a gun. You have to consider that my CPU was old enough that it was actually throttling my video card. Oh no. Do I need a frickin' Dragon Claw to progress? Oh crap. I hope it's on this guy. Diamond Cloth. Whew. Okay, so what do we got? We've got extended hand thingy. Or possibly a raptor. We've got a moth, and we've got a dragon. Oh, it's probably a fox. Yeah, that thing. Wolf, fox, whatever. Moth and dragon. Nagito on Danganronpa has that effect on people usually, but like with Cicero, you're the rare in-between. 
I have not yet played any of those games. I really don't like that. The bone physics, the random objects strewn around when I walk over them, they have this nasty habit of shoving me in random directions. Oh, is that a dragon wall? That's so handy. And yet I find myself not trusting this room. Hello, Mr. Creepy. Have a good night, Aranor. I appreciate your help this evening, as always. Skildafin, here we come. Now, the one I tossed off the edge, I don't think I can loot him. I don't think I did myself any favors there. too far away. Now he's not so bad since he's heading right for me.
Reach Alduin's portal to Sovngarde. Enter Sovngarde. Do I not have somebody to murder here first? Dragon Priest Staff. Oh, it was one of those guys. Okay, who's detecting me? What's going on? I don't know how close to the end I am, Winters. Oh, he's detecting me. Hello? Are we not fighting you? I'm a death lord, not a drug lord. Oh my god. Oh. Hello. One can be both at that point. You're not wrong. Maybe I should have just left them alone. They weren't hostile. Or at least they weren't actively attacking. I think we're just gonna go. I can always come back. Well, actually, I can't come back, can I? That's okay. <laughs> you want to try some death bell? Wow, Kellen Ray. I mean... Find out how to defeat Alduin. I mean, I'm an alchemist, so I probably have already eaten Death Bell. Can't be that bad. Well, they do say it's uh, indicative of change more than actual death, right? It's more of a metaphorical death. The death of the previous self and transformation into the new. He and I have been quoting this dang line from Clone Wars so much lately, I'm so sorry he's subjecting you to it. Not to worry. It's one of my favorite quotable lines from it, too. Turn back, traveler. 
terror waits within this mist. Many have braved the shadowed veil, but vain is all courage against the peril that guards the way. What's this mist? I do not know, but none have passed through. Alduin, his hunger insatiable, hunts the lost souls snared within this shadowed valley. Can you lead the way to where Shore's Hall waits, beckoning us on to welcome long sought? Yes, it's at the far end of the valley from here. I saw it fair when first I trod this long sought path. The pain and fear vanished, dreamlike, and a vision beckoned. Shore's Hall, shimmering across the clouded veil, but quenched was hope by the shrouding mist. My mind is darkened. I've lost the way and wander blindly. Hurry. Before Alduin your life devours, bring word to Shores Hall of our hard fate. Follow me. I'll lead you through this mist. Don't worry. I'm here to kill Alduin. Beware. The world eater waits within the mist. I'm sure there's nothing that could possibly go wrong. What's the worst that could happen? I wonder if this dragon rend would even work on Alduin. This is a gorgeous area. Holy crap. It looks so good. You just end up here. True. Skyrim was betrayed. The blood of her sons spilled in Doom's struggle against fate. And so in death too late. I learned the truth. Fed by war. So waxed the power of all the wind world eater. Wisdom now useless. By God's jest. In this grim mist. Together snared. Stormcloak and Imperial. We wander hopeless. Waiting for sun. Hmm. That's right, you fly away. I'm starting to think that I might actually be potentially looking at finishing this too early. Kind of like Space Quest 3. I don't think I saw him here, but then I don't think I'd actually killed him by this point on my very first run, the run where you actually beat the game. I have done pretty much most of the main game at this point. Well, I've done all of the main game and a lot of the side stuff. I mean, I 
won't even pretend to say I've done all the side stuff. I'm not convinced it's even possible to do all of the side stuff. That looks so cool. That was in like the first month of the game's release, so it's been a bit. <laughs> Sometimes I use a spell to change the weather in Skyrim to Sovngarde. I wonder if I freak out the entire country into thinking they're all dead. Wow. Pursue Alduin, the world eater. A faithful errand. No few have chafed to face the worm since first he set his soul snare here at Sovngarde's threshold. But sure restrained our wrathful onslaught. Perhaps deep counsel your doom he foresaw. Who are you? I am Soon. Shield thing to shore. The well worn bridge he bade me guard. I'm gonna all those souls whose heroic end sent them here to shore's lofty hall. Where welcome well earned awaits those I judge fit to join that fellowship of honor. No shade are you as you. But living, you dare the land of the dead. By what right do you request entry? By right of cleverness, I am master of the College of Winterhold. By the right of birth, I am dragonborn. I like that I've got the two options. Since last I faced a doom driven hero of the dragon blood. Can I enter? Living or dead, by decree of shore, none may pass this perilous bridge till I judge them worthy by the warrior's test. Wow. Bad. It's a heck of a bridge. I love the design of this, how it's kind of evocative of the architecture in Skyrim, but very distinct as well. Yeah, it looks amazing. Oh man, it's just as amazing inside too. Welcome, Dragonborn. Our door has stood empty since Alduin first set his soul snare here. By Shaw's command, we sheathed our blades, and ventured not the Vale's dark mist. But three await your word to loose their fury upon the perilous foe. Gormlaith, 
the fearless, glad-hearted in battle. Hekon, the valiant, heavy-handed warrior. Feldir, the old, far seeing and grim. Okay. The three await your word to loose their fury upon the barons. I'm just gonna save there. I'm overdue for another break, if you guys will bear with me. It seems like we're getting awfully close to the very end here. Iskramar, he's like the founder of Skyrim? That's awesome. I got your weird spoon you dropped, sir. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm going to get up and take a quick break. If you will bear with me, I'll be back in just a few minutes. What, this one here? This is not a shuttle. I mean, it, it's comparable. It's considered to be a sort of shuttle, but this is a Federation runabout, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, I love that you can get so up close to it. Look at that. That looks so nice. Ugh. They've done some good stuff with this just since the time I've been away. Gotcha. Now watch a courier show up again. I'll see what we have ready for Mr. Legrand. I know it's here somewhere. I saw it a while ago. <laughs> Freddy Krueger sweater. Well, that was the thing. Looks like the water might be too shallow for the water wheel. Uh-oh, are they hungry? Maybe this is more like Vanished than I thought. Oh god, they're out of food. Okay, this is definitely reminding me a little bit more of Banished. it is. Now we gotta try and murder them really, really fast. Oh, I didn't actually want to murder Liam. They seem a little unhappy with me. I can't imagine why. Uh, this fire, that's gonna make the ship go faster, right? He's been like that for an hour now. Passed out cold. He'll come around. 
I don't know. I'm pretty sure he's dead. Hmm. I guess that's the end of the game, then. <laughs> but with him being the main character and all, funny. <laughs> I didn't think you could die in LucasArts Adventure Games. Well, wow. maybe they're trying something different. When I should take care of him? Would you? It's bad for business having him just lie there. Wow. Rest in peace and all that. Wow. The end. <laughs> hey! <laughs> I'm not really dead. <laughs> This is so good. Okay, I'm back. I love that Monkey Island clip so much. At long last, Alduin's doom is now ours to seal. Just speak the word, and with high hearts, you'll hasten forth to smite the worm. Wherever he works. The endless wait gives way to battle. Alduin's doom. His death or ours. Alduin's mist is more than a snare. Its shadowy gloom is his shield and cloak. Nice dig at Sierra Games, yes. Our valor combined. We can blast the mist and bring him to battle. Feldir speaks wisdom. The world eater coward. Fears you, Dragonborn. We must drive away his mist, shouting together, and then unsheathe our blades in desperate battle with our black winged foe. To battle, my for a hundred lifetimes. Okay, I don't think we're using Dragonrend. We're probably gonna have to. Actually, you know what? We probably will use Dragonrend, won't we? Yeah, I, I loved the rivalry that existed between Sierra and LucasArts, although I've got to tell you, it was mostly one-sided, mostly LucasArts throwing shade at Sierra. I'm sure there were examples of Sierra returning the favor, but by and far, LucasArts threw so much at the Sierra guys, way more than Sierra ever threw back. Here we go. I bet some people at LucasArts played Sierra games and got killed a lot, hence their need to retaliate by throwing shade. Yeah, I'm sure they all played each other's games a lot, actually. skies, huh? Cheater. Yeah. 
We can do this all day, Alduin. Does his strength have no end? Is our struggle in vain? Shout! Stand fast! His strength is failing! Once more and his might will be broken! Okay, here we go. I've come to bargain. Oh my god, what the heck? Rude. Oh, do I? <laughs> Whoops. I'll do when you jerk. Yeah, just exactly who's the one who has to die here seeing as most of you are already dead. I don't care for your terms. Hey! You're cheating! I dragon rended you. Oh my god. A double death, that's fair. That's true. Gotcha. Dragon Slayer. <laughs> they will sing of this battle in Shore's Hall forever, but your fate lies elsewhere. This was a mighty deed. The doom of Alduin encompassed at last. 
who cleansed his southern guard of his evil snare. They will sing of this battle in Shores Hall forever, but your fate lies elsewhere. When you have completed your count of days, I may welcome you again with glad friendship and bid you join the blessed feasting. When you are ready to rejoin the living, just bid me so, and I will send you back. Um... Let's see if the others have something to say first. Tarry not too long. The land of the dead is not meant for mortals to linger. Oh, hail the dragonborn! Hail her with great praise! Even here, where heroes throng, few can match this mighty deed. What glory! The gods themselves must envy us this well-earned honor. Our ancient debt for Alduin's reprieve is now repaid. The long night is ended. I'll look for you, friend, when at last you return to Shaw's Hall. The honor will be ours when you rejoin the ranks of Sovereign Guard. This is so freaking cool. I love it. When you are ready to rejoin the living, just bid me so, and I will send you back. Return now to me, with this rich boon from shore, my lord. A shout to bring a hero from Sovngarde in your hour of need. Oh, that's cool. Holy crap. Um Sorot for Kanalan. That's a lot of dragons. So it is done. Alduin Dilong. Hey, Amish. Is no more. He who came before all others and has always been. You don't sound very happy about it. Celebrate his fall. Zutiraz Achochma. He was my brother once. This world will never be the same. The world is a better place without Alduin. I don't actually really love either of these choices. I'm doing alright, Amish. I'm actually kind of exhausted tonight. <laughs> I slept like complete crap last night, but aside from that, I'm doing all right. I hope you're doing all right. Party snacks, I like that. Oh, man. Oh, God, Amish, I'm so sorry to hear that. That really sucks. I hope you don't have it too badly. Your entire department got it? Oof. Just fulfilling my destiny as Dragonborn. I I guess I gotta do this one. It sounds like I'm making excuses, though. Indeed. You 
saw more clearly than I, certainly more clearly than Alduin, Roch Funta Korav. Perhaps now you have some insight into the forces that shape the venesity, the currents of time. Perhaps you begin to see the world as a Dova. But I forget myself. Crosis, Solos Mifadon, melancholy is an easy trap for a Dova to fall into. You have won a mighty victory, Shahroch Kondra. One that will echo through all the ages of this world for those who have eyes to see. Savor your triumph, Dovakin. This is not the last of what you will write upon the currents of time. Goran, I feel younger than I have in many an age. Many are now scattered across Kizal. Without Alduin's lordship, they may yet bow to the Vazen, brightness of my thoom. That is so freaking cool. I love it. So now I just make my own way down again. Let's quick save. Even I'm not evil enough to kill him. <laughs> Oop. Well, this is my very first time ever completing the main storyline of Skyrim. That was really awesome, and I'm glad I did it within the 10 year window. We only have a like a couple of months left. What the attention incoming raid. Please report to hospitality stations in a calm and orderly oh. fashion. El Talera, Joduri, and other librarians will aid as need be. Please be ready to disperse library guards. C D, thank you so much for coming in with the raid. What's going on? It's so good to see you. Uh, Crystal Dragon, how was your stream this evening? What's going on? Let me, uh, let me just really quickly get you a shout out. There we go. Oh, Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands. How are you finding that? I have never played any of those games. I think maybe like a million years ago, roughly, give or take a few eons, I might have played splinter cell i think it was but that's probably the only t oh and uh actually that's not true i was gonna say the only tom clancy game i played i have played a very little bit of the division one uh but i think those are the only two that i've ever tried so how do you find uh ghost recon wildlands tell me all about it and i do have a little bit of a video to welcome you folks in if you've never been here before my name is gordon mcleod i'm a variety streamer here on twitch I play a lot of story-driven games with excellent character and narrative development, as well as a lot of strategy games, sandboxy games, classic RPGs, and retro adventure games. So if any of that sounds good, please feel free to hit the follow button. And uh, like I mentioned, I do have a bit of a video to welcome you in properly. Hopefully it won't scare too many of you away. Welcome on in, folks. Let's get the stream started, shall we? Whoa! Oh crap. Oh no. <laughs> uh, uh, runaway helicopter. Oh damn it. Oh no. No, 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 no. Oh shoot. 169 form factor. 
aspect ratio. Oh, no, 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 no crap. Whoa. Yes, whoa. <laughs> okay, that... Let's go for it. Oh. Hey, I have not, I have not looted that, sir. May still be coming, actually. It's a little bit of a preview of what you can expect around these parts. Have you played Graveyard Keeper? Yes, I actually used to stream that a few years back. It's a good game. I never got particularly far in it, but I enjoyed it. It was good. I love Wildlands. I have played through it before off stream. I love the Ghost Recon games as a series. Haven't played Wildlands in a long enough time that it's almost brand new. Oh, that's always fun when you go back to a game that you used to play and you've forgotten most of it, so you get to enjoy it all over again. I love that. Also, I have not till now played it on my Series X. It runs great. It's as good as ever, and I had a lot of fun bringing it to the channel for the first time tonight. That is really cool, CD. I am exhausted tonight. I slept like complete garbage last night. Uh, but aside from that, I'm doing okay. I just completed Skyrim main storyline for the first time ever. Like, literally two seconds before you arrived. We just finished talking to Parthernax. And now I'm heading down from the spine of the world. Or whatever this mountain is called. Hang on. And I'm going this way because... Why? Oops. This is why you quick save. Um, this way it looks like it's maybe slightly easier. Yeah. There we go. I'm not sure what I'm heading down towards. Oh, uh, white runs over there. Some more this direction. <clears throat> oh yeah, there it is. Okay. Haven't had the friendliest of times with sleep myself lately, so I know the feeling. Ugh, yeah, I'm sorry to hear that. It's so warm, it's hard to sleep properly. At least, that's what I'm finding. But I don't deal all that well with the heat to begin with. I'm just gonna get through the next few weeks. Maybe a month or two. Then we'll be getting back into the cooler weather again, and it'll be good.
So I'm really excited about having finished the main story of Skyrim because this means I am now free and clear to give up this playthrough and start a brand new modded playthrough because there's a new mod for Skyrim that I really want to try out. In fact, let me just get back down to ground level. Looks like White Run is just ahead there. It might be worth seeing if it's... I don't know if it's on the uh, Steam Workshop system. If it is, I might just quickly pop it in. Now that I don't have to worry about uh, achievements and all that anymore. Because I got the important one. <clears throat> and I'll see if I can give it a try. Uh, it's a new mod that I just started reading about the other day. That adds in a nemesis system taken directly from Middle Earth Shadows of Mordor and Shadows of War. So basically it eliminates dying in Skyrim. If you die, you sort of, you're knocked out, you wake up somewhere else and you've gained a new nemesis. It turns the NPC that killed you into a named sort of legendary nemesis character with a special buff and you gain a debuff and they take all your equipment and you have to go kill them and get your equipment back and then if you manage to kill them you lose your debuff and you take the buff that they had had as well as getting all your gear back I think you're going to love Shadow of Skyrim. It's so freaking good. It sounds amazing, Winters. It sounds so good. Now, I don't actually need to go to Whiterun at the moment. I want to go home. I wouldn't mind trying it out in this playthrough because we've got some pretty decent leveling going on. We've got some high-level enemies and all that. But I gotta confess, I'm really, really interested in starting a brand new playthrough with it. Just because I think it would be absolutely hilarious to get murdered by a head crab, or a, not a head crab, a mud crab, and then have a mud crab as your named nemesis that you have to go and take revenge on. I guess, technically speaking, there's nothing stopping me from having a mud crab nemesis right now, but I can't help but think it would be funnier at a low level. Now, oh, there you are. I was wondering where you'd gotten off to. All right. Let me just do a proper, finally finished the game after 10 freaking years, real save. And then we're going to quit back to the main menu. Unfortunately, my cerebral palsy has had me waking up with both my legs in bad cramps. Oh, God. I'm actually afflicted with cramps a lot too, CD. So I, I, I can't imagine how it must be for you. But I know that the cramp part, at least, is miserable. <clears throat> Legs and feet, oh my god. For the last four days straight. My old friend Payne and I have unfortunately hung out a lot lately. Ah, uh, that's awful. Um... We'll get the unofficial Skyrim Special Edition patch. I'm not going to put very many mods in. I just want to see if Shadow of Skyrim is here. That doesn't look encouraging. 
I'll tell you what, though. I started around 11, which means I should theoretically be taking my third break right now. I could go on break, and I could just really quickly set up Vortex to run Skyrim. Let me just delete this, actually, because I would rather put it in through Vortex. Uh oh. Well, it has to reload, but that's okay. It loads fast. I really just want the unofficial, like, I'll mod it up more, of course, eventually. But for the time being, I only really want the unofficial Skyrim patch and Shadow of Skyrim. I don't have to spend, like, two hours. So maybe what I'll do, yeah, I'll, I'll just go on break. And then I will get... I will get... Uh, the two mods set up and then maybe we'll even just start the new playthrough tonight and this is why pc will always be better i don't know you can get pretty much all the mods these days on xbox too can't you not playstation but xbox I've never tried modding a game on Xbox. I don't have a Series X, but from what I understand, it's getting pretty close these days. Not that I know this for a fact, but comparison's sake, because all we hear it's bad, it said at one point my cramps are seven times worse than average. Ooh, yeah. Judging from years of pain level research with people who have my type of CP. The way, well, yeah, I don't doubt that. Probably not everybody who does modding on PC would have an Xbox to convert them. That's okay, though. That's all right. I'll be back in a few minutes, guys. What, this one here? This is not a... Where am I going to want to stop these? Oh, whoops. A little before that. Oops. Whoa! <laughs> oh my god, that was amazing. See, I'm not the only one. The NCPD does it too. My handkerchief will wipe up your blood. So, you got that job as a janitor after all. <laughs> I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. He must have taught you everything you know. You fight like a dairy farmer. I am rubber. You are glue. Got I that. give up. You win. Yes. What? Art <laughs> that was unexpected. Artillery providing cover? Oh. Oh, boy. Oh, sorry, guard. I hope they're not hostile now. Ah, uh, crap. What the hell? Oh. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> hey, did you find the lieutenants? Not yet. But I think I know where they are. Good. Kill all the fuckers. 
Whoa! Okay. Be careful with the landings. Noted. What? Holy crap! This is really odd. Should I save my game? I wouldn't worry about it. The game was expertly designed to have no dead ends or death. Yet still be scary and have a sense of tension. You can feel safe exploring whatever you want. But I'd watch out for the signals. They can be very strong and disrupt the power grid. Now do we trust these strange pigeon sister brothers? But playing classic adventure games has taught me to save often. That was true, up until Monkey Island. At least with LucasArts style adventures. Then the designers realized that death and dead ends weren't making the game more enjoyable. It was actually making it less fun. <laughs> this is making me so incredibly happy. Bastila is a frickin' lifesaver. Really, auto drive? Again? I mean, I know I'm supposed to be the great hero of the liberation and all that crap, but come on. Sorry. Oh, whoa. Oh my god, they just... Oh, <laughs> and it's on fire. Oh, it's a... Uh, wow. The ice cube factory's on fire. You know your city has problems when. Crap, he has a bad motivator. Push power button. Push auto nav button. Pull throttle. <laughs> Please buckle your seatbelt first. Buckle seatbelt. Done. Pull throttle. Your door is a jar. No, my door is a door. Close pod door. Done. Pull. Uh-oh. <laughs> I was literally typing it. Gosh, Roger, it would appear you have met an untimely demise. With the explosive destruction of the Arcata, you become part of a fresh collection of space debris. Okay, I'm back. That is very unfortunate. I'm really sorry to hear that I have to have SKSE and all that other stuff. That means we can't do the uh, Shadow of Skyrim tonight, unfortunately. But I will try to have that set up for the next time I stream Skyrim. In the meantime, we can just go back to playing this playthrough. And we'll do random Skyrim crap until I have to stop streaming because I'm way too tired. <clears throat> Actually, before we get back in there, I want to take a look at this, because I'm certain there was some new stuff that came down. Hmm. They don't really have a list of new stuff, do they? I don't remember the names of the things that downloaded. 
But there's at least a couple of new things that came through when I loaded up the game for the first time the other day. Would you consider doing a modding stream at some point? I think I've done that at least once before. I agree it would be super chill. I just don't know that I would find it interesting enough to actually be interesting. And so I don't know, really. I think I'd be worried that it'd be super boring, but then that didn't stop me from doing writing streams way back. Hey, our buddy seems to be missing. He's not hanging out here anymore. <clears throat> That's weird. I guess we can go talk to the uh, Yarl of Whiterun and see what's going on. If you want to do a little bit of modding... Where are we? No. No. We could always install a few mods this way. I don't want to install too many this way. So this is not turning into a modding stream. Oh, okay. Uh, a modding stream by any stretch. But we could do a few. Just ones that I can easily identify so that I can reinstall them through the Nexus when I'm using Vortex. Too bad you need a mod to have the people of Skyrim treat you like the damned hero you are. True. Oh, look at this. Apparently I'm not the only one that has Immersive Patrols as one of the best mods ever. Muskets? What? Wow. Okay, so they don't seem to have an... Oh, oh. Speech dialogues. Interesting. Immersive gameplay Skyrim PC. Weaponized junk? Man, I missed the Nexus already. The Alchemist's Coin. Hmm. 
The Great Immersion Overhaul. You know what? I think I might just leave it at Immersive Patrols. Okay. What? That's weird. Unless maybe that was something that I failed to get that I was supposed to get and the unofficial patch enabled it for me. I'm guessing absolutely none of you are excited for Elder Scrolls 6, are you? Not yet, actually. I'm not especially excited. I will be once we start learning about it. Right now... All of my Bethesda excitement is withheld for Starfield. Now that I've got the unofficial patch, I want to go see about that frickin' Dragon Claw. Hard to be excited when it's probably coming out in 2030 at the soonest. Yeah, it's going to be a long time. It's going to be awesome. But it's going to be a long time. Also, I love that you guys are now predicting release dates for Elder Scrolls 6 farther out than even I am. I remember years ago, I warned people that it was going to be like 2024, 2025 before we even heard anything about Elder Scrolls 6. And people were so not happy hearing that. <laughs> I'm excited to have Skyrim re-re-re-re-released on some new hardware. Honestly, I genuinely am. I know it's kind of meme-ish, and I know that people roll their eyes at it, but it's genuinely good for the industry to do that, because it is ridiculously easy to have games get lost in time when you run out of hardware that can actually run the thing. So many old games from the 80s are just, you know, they're forever gone at this point. They've been lost completely. That's not likely to happen to Skyrim. Uh, right. We want to go downstairs. I'm hyped for Skyrim Demi Centennial Edition. I wonder how far I can push Skyrim with this 3080. Nice, Amish. Hey! It fixed it! It was worth putting that mod in just for this. I'm so sick of finding the Golden Claw on the frickin' floor. What will get the sixth installment? The first Elder Scrolls or GTA? Uh, what will get the sixth game in the series first? Elder Scrolls or Grand Theft Auto? Uh, honestly, that's a really interesting question, but I would probably give it to GTA. I think Grand Theft Auto 6 will come out before Elder Scrolls 6 does. I say that mostly because Bethesda is working so much on Starfield right now. And that doesn't mean that they're not working on Elder Scrolls 6. I'm sure by now they've got at least the earliest stages of development done on Starfield. Mostly, you know, early stage planning, maybe even a little bit of coding, concept art, and that kind of thing. It's probably a very small team at the moment, but they probably do have a team working on it by now. 
Whereas it does sound like uh, Grand Theft Auto 6 is well past that stage. It's getting close to 11 years of frequently playing by me, and I'm not even close to ready to say goodbye to Skyrim, not with modders revolutionizing the gameplay more and more. Yeah. I'm actually pretty disappointed that I can't try the Shadow of Skyrim stuff tonight. It sounds ridiculously useful and fun, and I can't wait. And it, like I said on Discord, it has also reminded me that I never did actually get around to playing Middle Earth Shadow of War. I streamed quite a bit of Shadow of Mordor way way back. I even have a clip of it in the clip show now. I managed to find one. But I never did play Shadow of War, and I'm really interested in playing that one, partly because of the gameplay enhancements it sounds like they've done, and partly because I remember when they were just talking about releasing that game, the Critical Role guys were all over it because pretty much the entire group did voice work for it. You tried mercenary work? So that makes it incredibly appealing as well. Word is spreading like mage fire. The great evil has been vanquished. You have truly saved us all. Thank you. I mean, you're welcome. I'm proud of myself tonight. I pushed through and had a great stream even with a possible headache looming over me from wearing my headset. Yeah. Yeah. I had the stream before this cut off by tech problems, so it's nice to have a great rebound stream. That is awesome, CD. I'm so glad you had that. I am really glad you had that. It sounds like it was really fun. I don't know a whole lot about Ghost, Land uh, Ghost Wildlands, but it's the type of game I probably could get into one of these years. Fancy robes wizard or something? Seriously, dude? You made me a thane. He's not even gonna ignore- wow. Okay. Wow. Now, if you don't mind, I've got a city to keep. Yeah, you go about keeping your city, buddy. Jeez. After all we've been through. We had that beast contained, and you released it. Why? Why would you do such a thing? I had to go to the afterlife, what can I say? Old friend, patron of the great clan Battleborn. A name I'm sure you know well. Can't say I've ever heard of you, sir. Nope, all magic. You're the best. Can you be my mother? Nope. Damn those brave names to oblivion. They want to back the storm cloaks, they'll get what's coming to them. You said it. The post victory response around Skyrim is underwhelming, to put it mildly. That's funny though. Yesterday I saw a dragon. Right 
Well, that's okay. At least my dragon claw doesn't fall down anymore. That's the important thing. Now, uh, let's see. Quests. Kind Sacred Trials. I met an old Nord hunter named Froki who told me about Kind Sacred Trials. He has marked me so that Guardian Skeever, Wolf, and Mudcrab should appear to me when I visit their lairs. Windhelm is plagued by a shadowy killer. I've been asked to help investigate the latest murder. I don't really feel like doing that one. Uh, we still need to harvest Falmer blood. I'm sure we'll accidentally do that in some cave somewhere or other. I've received a letter from a mysterious woman named Tyra Bloodfire who claims to be from a bandit clan. She would like me to be her judge and executioner. Isn't that jumping the gun a little? But first I must prove myself. I must offer a beggar alms at the Windhelm docks choosing a gift of gold, bread, or wine. Night Hunter. I found what appears to be the key to a cellar in Ironback Hideout on the Vampire Hunter's remains. Where is this? All the way up there, huh? It's a great game that has an overarching goal throughout the whole game, but holds you to no patience way to do it or what order you do things in. It's total open world autonomy to operate you and your ghost team your way and do things by your rules. Not that this is super important, but it adds to the world that on my 4K TV and my Series X, it looks absolutely super good and runs like a hot knife through butter. Well, one of the reasons that we're getting back to Skyrim tonight and finally finished it is that I had been terribly missing my open world games recently. We've been playing a lot of great stuff lately that I've really been enjoying, but I do really love the open world games, and I did a lot of clips over the last weekend, like the last couple of days, and so many of them were these just, you know, vast open worlds to explore and do whatever I wanted in, like... Assassin's Creed Origins and Assassin's Creed Odyssey and Cyberpunk and Far Cry 6 and it made me realize that it's actually been quite a while since I played anything like that and so I just kind of wanted to get back in here and finish Skyrim and maybe start some of those uh, games back up again. I still haven't finished Odyssey yet for example gotta add that to my finished games list at some point oh I'm going the wrong way we need to head back up to uh, solitude area watch out savior of Skyrim coming through somebody anybody nobody okay screw you guys I'm awesome I love it, Amish Gangsta. I really love it. I mean, I can't blame people for their reaction when it launched because it was in a sorry state. But, man. I had so much fun with it regardless. A lot of people on PC had a lot of fun with it regardless. And these days, it's updated so much that... Uh, apparently, it's just really genuinely great on pretty much all the platforms at this point. Oh, hello. Oh, right, okay. It's you guys, I don't need to worry about you. Odyssey is amazing, Glean Cleric, I love it. Oh, hi. Ah, crap. Sorry, guard. I didn't mean to. Okay, good. They didn't go evil on me. Huh. 
How much gold do I have? Boom. Oh, right. You don't need an inventory for that. 2,000. That's not bad. Considering I dropped all my money off at home earlier. That's not bad at all. So many games give a particular goal-oriented task list to do in an order, and it's nice that with Wildlands you are quite literally in total control. That does sound pretty appealing, CD. I can also see how a lot of people would find that to be a little bit too freeing and leave them with choice paralysis. I should give CP2 uh, Cyberpunk another go. Playing PS4 made for a glitch fest. Also, I really found I was making such a boring build. Yeah, I guess that wouldn't help. I was playing the PlayStation 4 version of the game, but I was one of the very lucky few that actually had a PlayStation 5 at the time. And the PS5 was so fast that it made up for most of the glitchiness of the PS4 version. I mean, there were, you know, things would pop in every once in a while. The traffic was a little bit weird. There were a few visible visual glitches every once in a while. But the only serious issue that I had was that I, anytime I streamed the game, I could pretty reliably count on it crashing anywhere from one to three times over the course of the stream. So it was not entirely stable. But on the whole, it was very, very playable in spite of that. Now I got a PS5, I'll give it a new look. Yeah. Haven't even looked at consoles in so long. Yeah. I, I really like having the PS5 because of the exclusives. I haven't seriously thought about getting a Series X because I do most of my, you know, most of those games I do on PC. But I have to admit, while I don't have a Series X myself, my father does. His sister got him one because he's wanted to do, um, he's actually wanted to get his pilot's license for a very long time, and he's old enough at this point, he knows he's never going to go out and get his actual pilot's license. But he can play Microsoft Flight Simulator on the Xbox Series X, and it's amazing. Oh my god, it's these guys again. Seriously? I already went to the damn continent. Island thing. I'm done with you guys. Oh. Wow, thank you guys. Let me try not to murder you. Hacking was so pointless and I leaned so heavily into it. Oh no, 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 Cobra Ben. It's abs. Hacking is really amazing. I don't think that was supposed to happen, Cobra. I think that was uh, maybe another one of the early glitches that was making it pointless. But that, that's not expected behavior, at least not as far as I'm aware. Hope it was a glitch part of what killed the game for you. Yeah, I don't think that's supposed to happen.
Might be worth looking that up. What the heck is going on here? Oh, okay. I see. I didn't recognize that sign for what it was. I've seen clips of players who literally walk through areas and kill enemies by exploding their cyber where like some kind of god using hacking. Yeah. Love the fact that he's actually enjoying Flight Simulator the way he is when you first mentioned it. Smiled from ear to ear hearing that. It's really good to see, CD. He's the type of guy that needs something to keep his mind active, and Flight Simulator's really doing that. He's not even actually playing the game yet. Oh, God. He's just literally doing the flight training. And... It's kind of awesome. And honestly, it looks so good. Oh, jeez. And so detailed. It's kind of making me want to play. Ah, crap. Thank you, sirs. Shoot. How do I help them without murdering them? That looks like it might not be a problem, actually. <laughs> Well, at least I saved one of them. Sorry about your buddy. I thought I was done. Yep, exactly, CD. Plus, with, you know, they're, my parents are getting quite a bit older these days, obviously. And they used to travel a fair bit. These days with COVID and with a lot of the extended family gone these days, they don't really get to travel anymore. I kind of thought that Flight Simulator would be a good way for them to be able to take aerial tours anywhere around the planet. So it'll be interesting when he gets done enough with the flight training that he starts going around to various areas. Again? I'm so tired of you guys. I'm just gonna detour around them. Ow. Rude. Okay, you guys are very annoying.
I love open world games and games like Truck Sim because it fills in that travel exploration itch you can't fulfill in real life. Yeah. I should preface this by saying I know very much that Dad is proud of me, but to have my father, who never understood games and my love for them, actually break down crying and hug me, saying he's so proud of what I've done all by myself here. I have to tell you that fill me with so much more fire to keep going. That's amazing, CD. That's really cool. Oh, I forgot about this place. This is one of my homes. <laughs> that means we're near that small town. What is it, Ivarstead? No, not Ivarstead. Is it Ivarstead? I don't remember. Rorikstead. overwhelming desire to visit the afterlife. Can't wait to kill another of Ulfric's boys. Careful there. Reminds me of one guy who was robbing houses in Skyrim. Came to one he forgot was his until he noticed everything he tried to steal was not marked as stealing. Oh my god. It takes a true master thief to successfully steal from oneself. Picked a bad time to get lost, friend. Me with my zero pickpocketing skill. Sorry, I thought you were dead. Yeah. 
Gonna get some sleep and hope you have a great rest of the stream. Thank you so much, Matt. I really appreciate it. I will catch you again soon. Oh, thank you for the next stretch. And the hydrate. Yep. It's like I always say, CD. I could do the stealthy archer thing that everyone is so crazy about all the time. I just can't get past the idea that why would you flick little bits of wood at people when you've got magic just right there, ready to be used. The superior weapon. I'm sorry, but I have to scoff. Sometimes those bits of wood and metal can have absolutely absurd levels of enchantment and craftsmanship put into them, plus they actually get damage multipliers from stealth, unlike spells. That's fair. Can you, uh, 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 um, can you poison a spell? That's actually a good question. Not that I need to. No, I think poison might be one thing I can't do. A poison fireball would be funny as heck. I'm actually surprised you can't poison with magic. That's an interesting... That's an interesting gap in the skill set. Well, that's what I'm curious about on Star, because I, now that we're getting back into modded play, I am for sure going to be adding in magic mods. And I'm wondering if maybe they will add the ability to use poison as a magical weapon. I'm not entirely sure why I would want to, but it would be interesting if you could. No, actually, it really doesn't. I mean, poison's cool and all, but... If I can stuff an elemental bolt down your throat, I don't really need to poison you, too. It just seems like overkill. I don't know. I don't tend to min-max like that, Amish. I will say, though, that I have never had any problems completely wrecking my opponents with magic. Raw damage output does not make something superior, except on a very narrow, is it better at outputting raw damage kind of measure. Are you a member of the college, or did you just steal those robes from a real wizard? Don't make me murder you, lady. 
I'm no member of the college. I'm the Archmage of the college. Hey, Hammer, how's it going? Thank you, CD. No matter how much damage you can potentially do with one arrow, it will never be as fun to me as using magic is. Though I will admit, I'm hoping that the limited magic skill system in Skyrim is specifically because it is in Skyrim and that they do something a little more ambitious with Elder Scrolls VI. Oh, nice. Thank you, Winters. That's precisely what I believe as well, the Rogue Fae. The theory does take a little bit of a ding from the fact that it does have the College of Winterhold right there, and you would think that they would be a lot more, you know, better about magic than the rest of Skyrim, but as a game mechanic explanation, it works for me. Bows are perfectly adequate as backup weapons in case you run out of magicka. I mean, heck, there's even that clip of me admitting that maybe bows don't suck nearly as much as I thought they did because I managed to kill some tough boss with one at one point during this playthrough. I don't remember the details at this point. It was a long time ago, but it happened. I have video evidence of it. I actually said, maybe they don't suck as much as I thought. Might already be covered in one of the larger expansions of Magic. Yeah, Apocalypse is the one I like to use, Winters. Although, it's been so long now since I've done a proper modding up of Skyrim that I'm probably going to browse around and see what's new for the... Oh, crap. For the Anniversary Edition. I appreciate the host. Yeah. What the heck? Hang on. Rhubarb, thank you so much for the host. I really appreciate that. How are you doing tonight? I had to scroll my activity list up to see what was going on. I hope you're doing well, Rhubarb. Ah. Oh. Varieties of Daedra. Hmm. 
Vampire armor of eminent destruction. Not bad. And a circlet of archery. I tried to raid, but I think it got borked. That's okay. I appreciate it nonetheless. How are you doing tonight, Rhubarb? It's so wonderful to see you and all of your folks. How was your stream this evening here? Let me welcome you in properly. Where is audio? There we go. So, folks, if you have not been here before, my name is Gordon McLeod. I'm a variety streamer here on Twitch. I play a wide variety of single-player story-driven games with excellent character and narrative development, as well as strategy games, sandboxy games, classic RPG, and retro adventure games. So if any of that sounds good, please feel free to hit the follow button. Uh, let me see. I'm doing good. We played some... Oh, Cloudpunk looks so good, Rhubarb. I've seen people play that. That is definitely something I need to get a hold of one of these days. It's wonderful to have you here. Thank you so much for sharing your community with us. And since you were trying to actually rate and not just do the host, let me welcome you in with a little bit of a video that I've got. Hopefully it won't scare too many of you away. Welcome on in, folks. Let's get the stream started, shall we? Whoa! Oh crap. Oh no. <laughs> uh, uh, runaway helicopter. Oh damn it. Oh no. No, 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 no. Oh shoot. 69 four factor. Aspect ratio. Oh no, 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 no. Oh crap. Okay, that Let's go for it. Oh. Hey, I have not, I have not looted that, sir. May still be coming, actually. That's a little bit of a preview of what you can expect around these parts. Thank you, thank you, Rhubarb, for coming in. I really appreciate that. Oh no. Geology rocks, but geography is where it's at. I love that. Okay, we'll do another terrible pun or dad joke. Uh, where did I leave it? There it is. <sighs> Why was the duck detective given an award? Because he quacked the case. There you go. The less said about that one, the better. Um... That's Meridia's place up there. We want to go here. Yeah, I guess I'd better head up the mountain. 
while I can. Yeah, I agree. Yours was better. But then again, they are called terrible puns and dad jokes for a reason. If I gave you a good one, I would not be fulfilling my obligation. Can't seem to get away from ducks tonight. <laughs> Ow! Oh my god, is it more frickin' cultists? I'm so tired of cultists. You guys deal with it. I don't want to. A friend named the duck in her game after me. I got killed in a game by a duck earlier, and now that. Nice. I might end the stream a little early tonight. But not right now. We've got about an hour left. I might give it another half hour. I don't know if I can go until four tonight. My eyes are kind of burning. I'm so tired. But it's been a really fun stream, and I'm so glad that I can finally say I actually beat Skyrim. So we'll go a while longer, see what we can get done. Come on. Come on. It's probably an easy path I could be taking, but where's the fun in that? Ah! Did you hear something? No. What? to see that. Where are you hiding? Oh, there you are. Back hideout discovered.
Ooh, not bad. Oh my god. Holy crap, he is decked out. Look at this. Uh-huh. Kragash's letter. Yeah, it looks like it, Ansara. To whomever finds this letter, hear my story. My name is Kragash. I have been a hunter in these parts for the last six years. Once a week, I travel to Solitude to sell meat and skins. On one such trip, I spotted a collapsed figure by the roadside, slumped up against a log. I quickly realized that this was Anthiris, a kind soul I would trade and travel with each winter. His skin was white as his sheet. His sunken face and bite marks on his neck and arms made it clear that this was the work of vampires, and Theris never deserved such a fate. I carried him to Solitude to raise the city guard. When I arrived, they acted with indifference as cold as the corpse I laid before them. They had seen this before, they said. They offered to bury him, but their interest in the matter ended there. It was then I decided that at night I would begin to hunt more dangerous game. I have slain over a dozen of the fanged wretches in the months since. In fact, I've become quite proficient at the task. Until one night, I found a lone vampire prowling the woods. He stopped to rest, seemingly unable to catch his breath. Whether it was from thirst or exhaustion, I couldn't be sure. Still, such monsters deserve no pity. So I hid in the brush nearby, drew my crossbow, and lined up the killing shot. Suddenly, two of the devils pounced from both sides, clawing and biting. I had been led into a trap. I managed to escape, but my wounds were grave. Worse, I knew from the burning in my veins that I now had the illness that would soon consume me, turn me into one of them. So now, on what should be my final day as a mortal, I penned this letter and walked to my favorite o overlook south of the Thalmor Embassy to watch the morning sunrise one last time. I now pass the torch to you, dear reader. Seek out my remains. Among my effects, you should find a key. Open my cellar and take up arms as I, I have stored there. Use them to keep travelers safe from the vampire menace, as I once did. That's cool. I like that. Completed Night Hunter. Silver sword, iron war hammer, steel sword, hunting bow, silver great sword. Wow. Ring of the minor knight. Exploding Dwarven Bolt of Fire. Ebony Crossbow? Holy crap. The Black Arrow, Volume 2. A Dance in Fire, Volume 5. Immortal Blood. Oh no, it finally happened. Well, we know this is a real Skyrim stream now at least. A tunnel, oh you're right, look at that. Exploding Dwarven Bolts of Shock. That's pretty cool. Except I can't seem to get these last two. A 
I must have some garbage weapon I can get rid of. Oh, I forgot to put the new mask away. That is a good thought worthy of exploring. That's our, I like it. Oh, what's... More bolts. Nope, no go. Steel battle looks of sparks. I don't think I need that one. hell is that? Uh... I don't know what that was, but we're going to pretend we didn't hear that. That's how you cast spells, sir. Ma'am. Whatever. Why is a red guard attacking me? Holy... What is with all the ebony armor? That's too valuable to leave behind. This means we just have to walk really slowly all the way back home. Or at least to one of my homes anyway. Um. Huh. I just noticed Serana is nowhere to be found. Hmm.
Serana, you around somewhere? No? Okay. Love how nobody bats an eye. One of the guards said he saw a mage appear out of thin air. Claimed it was one of those Sigic monks. Man's been hitting the skooma, I say. Eh, you never know. It is now, Hammer. Very slightly. I finished the game today completely unmodded. And as soon as I was done, I wanted to try the Shadow of Skyrim mod. But it turns out that's going to be slightly more complicated to install than I was capable of doing just over the course of a break during stream. But I did go into the Steam Workshop and I installed the unofficial Skyrim patch and Immersive Patrols. So there's two mods. As of a couple of hours ago. Hold. But other than that, this is the Anniversary Edition. I played through the entire game without mods but it does ha oh actually this is some already overburdened I might as well grab everything I can't make it worse uh, since this is the anniversary edition and since I did pay for the you know all of the extra content I have all of the creation club content for Skyrim installed 
So while I don't have mods other than those two, I do have a lot of content that's not in the original base Skyrim game. Hold. Now. It's just that most of it's the stuff that comes with the Anniversary Edition. Oh. How did I not loot that before? Wow. Yeah, I'm going to keep playing this. I'm not necessarily going to keep playing this specific playthrough, though. Because the Shadow of Skyrim mod, if you've not heard of it, it's just sort of come to people's attention, at least in the wider community. Maybe people that are really up to date with all their modding news have known about it for a little while, I don't know. But um, it basically takes the Nemesis system from Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor and implements it in Skyrim. And it sounds ridiculously fun. So I really want to get that set up. So what I'm going to do, I think, is uh, I'm going to get that set up for the next time that I want to stream Skyrim, which will probably be pretty soon, honestly. And I will start a new playthrough specifically for Shadow of Mordor. Now, I don't know what else I'm going to do. I will probably do my usual mod up the game way too much. But, oh. Hello. All right, hand over your valuables, or I'll gut you like a fish. Do I look like I have anything to loot? Yes, actually. You look like you're lousy with gold. I'm not going to ask again. I don't have time for this. Now I'm going to take your gold. I finished, Nubby! I actually finished! I beat the game at last! How are you doing? It's so good to see you. I always mod, mod Skyrim when I start playing it. I started this playthrough uh, actually quite a long time ago. I think it was late last year. And it was a charity playthrough. And it was right around the time that the Anniversary Edition first came out. So I just started playing vanilla because... Uh, there were a lot of problems with getting mods to work in the Anniversary Edition at that time. Now, I understand the situation is a whole lot better now that many of the mods work again. So, I will go through and I will mod them up, or mod the game up, you know, to my heart's content again. But it wasn't really an option when I started it, and then I just found that I was really enjoying getting the achievements because I had you know, I had had a few achievements from the original release of the original Skyrim 10 years ago, but then I was already in the habit of modding the game heavily by the time the Legendary Edition came out, and so, or the, uh, you know, the Skyrim Special Edition, rather. And so I just never really had any achievements at all in this version of the game. And I was having fun getting them, so I just thought, well, okay, let's just keep going. And then by the time I finish, Mods will probably be in a much better place, which it turns out they are. And I can mod it again at that point. I need to go back on the VOD. I've been doing logistics because I'm close to finishing my batch of prior commissions. I stopped into Greeny's channel before I started my stream tonight, Nabi. The work you did for him is so good. It looks so good.
There's more, but I'm just indecisive with the final paintings. Well, I have all the faith in your abilities, by the way, folks. Make sure you go follow Nabi. She's a wonderful artist who's done emotes for us here in this channel. And work for Greenie's channel as well. And she's also a fantastic streamer. You will definitely enjoy all the stuff that she gets up to. I can't even explain how many iterations of the forest I did before settling in the one we ended up with. Oh my god, Nabi, that's still amazing though. One day, we're going to have to have a talk about more commissions for the library. But I'm not ready to go into that right now, and it sounds like you're pretty backlogged as well, so maybe it's for the best that we not talk about that right now. <laughs> I'm literally too away from reopening. Well, okay. I'm going to have to risk it, though, because I'm not really in a position to do anything right this minute. But I do have ideas. I've been playing around with that mid-journey image generator AI thing, and it's okay. I think it probably right now, though, for me at least the best use for it is as concept art generator. There's very little it produces that I would want to use as an actual image for something. They are really fun, Nubby. I, I'm having a blast with it. I enjoy it so much I actually subscribe to it at the lowest paid level. Just because I've been, you know, it's, it's actually genuinely inspiring not even necessarily to share the stuff that it produces, but just to spark visualizations and there's some neat stuff that pops out of it. I've been trying to finally gear up to do some more of the writing that I've backlogged myself into. You know, the uh, story time stories and such. And it's actually been genuinely helpful for that. Sometimes I'll have, like, you know, the core of an idea in my head. I'll put it into the generator. It'll spit out a visual, and that will just spark a whole cascade of ideas in my head. Plus, sometimes you actually get stuff that's genuinely good out of it, like, um... A few days ago in the Discord, I posted an image that was clearly, or at least it, it was clear to me, that it was supposed to represent clan folk. I just gave it a basic description of the starting situation in clan folk, and it produced a really, really, really nice image of something that could easily pass for a medieval Scottish farmstead with chickens out front on a lake. I was really honestly surprised and pretty happy with how that one turned out. This is laughable. I'm trying cooking simulator because it's on Game Pass and I burned a steak to ashes because I can't seem to figure out how to put the spatula down that I'm holding. Oh no. That game intimidates the crap out of me. I'm no greenie, but I'm a reasonably decent enough cook. And I think it's got to be infinitely easier to cook in real life than it is in that simulation. Uh, 
Oh, I... I've been forgetting forever. Well then, do I get bonus points for trying then, even if I may end up burning down this building trying? Absolutely. You can't get better if you never start in the first place. Glass skillets, I like that. That's awesome. Also a little terrifying. A glass skillet would probably shatter under high heat and that would not do anything remotely favorable for the food you're cooking in it. Man, I thought I was going to be ending at 3.30. I mean, we're almost there if we just go to the... What's it called? Rorik's Dead. Golden Hills Plantation. That's my nearest home. It's still going to take a while to get there. Probably be wrapping up pretty close to 4 o'clock at this rate. <laughs> I guess it was inevitable, though. I was having it way too easy with uh, carry weight limitations in Skyrim this time around. Hold down. Glass skillet can't cook anything? True. What is funny is I am not a five-star chef, but can cook reasonably well in real life? Yeah. Same thing. Same thing here. I'm halfway competent. I'm extremely good at a very, 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 very small number of things and sort of semi-competent at many other things when it comes to cooking. I can follow directions and cook mac and cheese from a box. Hey, if you can do that. Honestly, you're pretty much most of the way there when it comes to cooking a lot of stuff that's a lot more complicated. Because the basics are all there. You know, you know how to cook stuff in a pot. You know how to keep it from burning. You know how to mix things together in the right proportions. You know how to... You know a lot more than you think you know. Hold Most of the reason that I can cook as, you know, reasonably well as I can is just because I don't allow myself to be put off by fear of not doing it very well. I just kind of assume that my first attempt at doing anything is going to turn out pretty iffy. 
I, you know, I just take that as a given. It's probably going to be kind of trash. And what I find is that gets rid of the fear of starting something you don't know. And then I end up producing something that's actually, you know, it might not be the best in the world, but it's significantly better than trash, at least. And that just kind of builds a positive feedback loop that lets me try more stuff more easily. And you just learn that way. I just have a problem telling when there is smoke. I've set off the alarm three times in this house. Oh, damn. Yeah, that, I can see that being a problem, Rogue Fay. If those red Hold down. Okay, that looks like it's my homestead plantation thingy over that way. was that running up around me? Oh. Huh. I wonder if that's somebody added by the immersive patrols thing. I don't remember seeing people usually just running around willy-nilly like that, but then... It's been a long time since I looked at the description for Immersive Patrols. It's probably updated a few times since the last time I used it. Okay, I guess we're going the long way around. My dad forbade her from ever cooking in his house after she almost burned it down trying to cook mac and cheese from a box. Ouch. Boxed mac and cheese? I usually do that in the microwave. But I'm also incapable of leaving the, the, uh, the recipe intact. I always end up adding real cheese to it so that it tastes more like actual mac and cheese okay we finally made it guys it didn't take as long to get here as I thought we are home what I'll probably do is get back to the proper home what the all the stuff respawned that's awesome. I can loot it all again. Oops. I wanted the treat, not the plate. Oh, there are ways to make anything turn out badly, trust me. Maybe not everything respawned. Yeah, it looks like the basement here is pretty thoroughly non-respawned. Well, some stuff in here. Oh, 
Oh my god, so many books. Now, granted, I'm reasonably certain I've already looted all of these books, so I'm just grabbing large numbers of duplicates, but I will still take them. Didn't touch the stove till you were at 17? Oh, yeah, okay. It was still unfamiliar to a very late age then, compared to some people at least. I was actually able to make really good pancakes when I was young. Okay. Let's do another proper save here, just for the sake of it. All right, folks. Uh, yeah, there we go. I think it's time to find somebody to raid, and I'm pretty sure I know exactly where we're going. Most I could do is follow microwave directions. The thing is... Following microwave directions and following stovetop directions, very nearly identical. There's really not much difference. Most of the difference is purely psychological. So if you, once you get used to the microwave thing, I think you'd be surprised at how easy you can transfer that skill. All right, let's see what we've got going on here. Hodon Kane is playing some Mass Effect 3 multiplayer. Greeny Trini is on. He's finished his Mass Effect playthrough. So it looks like he is doing Tomb Raider now. He has gone on to Shadow of the Tomb Raider. He's doing a playthrough of that. Um, let me see. Simcopter1 is playing Cult of the Lamb. T with Mandy is still playing Dinkum. And that's about it for this evening. So, uh, if you guys have any particular preference with regards to the game or the streamer that we want to go visit, I'm about 99% certain I know exactly where we're going. But uh, if you do have any input, while I cannot guarantee that it will dictate where we go, especially tonight, it will influence the choice. So just let me know in chat. So let me go over that again real quick. We had Hodon Kane with Mass Effect 3 multiplayer. Greeny Trini, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Simcopter 1, Cult of the Lamb, and Tea with Mandy, Dinkum. I'm good with whatever makes you happy. Excellent, because I think we are going to go visit Greeny Trini then. Alright, so I've got his channel loaded up. He is still actively playing. This is actually a series, the Tomb Raider series. I need to get back and play that again. Um, I, I don't know how many of you are aware of this, but as of October of this year, I will have been streaming for eight years, and the very first game I ever played was Alien Isolation on stream. The very first game I ever streamed was Alien Isolation. The second game that I ever streamed was the 2013 Tomb Raider reboot which I never finished. I got pretty darn close, but I never quite finished it. 
So I would love to play that and actually do a finished playthrough of it and then um, go through the others as well. I have the entire trilogy for both PC and for PlayStation. So one of these days I gotta do it and just get it over with because they look like such good games. And the first one was a lot of fun. So let's go see how Greeny is doing with Shadow of the Tomb Raider and uh, see how that's treating him tonight. And I'm going to stop streaming and rest my eyes a little bit <laughs> and probably get to bed quite a bit earlier than I normally do tonight. Let me get you guys his link. I'm sure a lot of you who have been here before are familiar with Greeny. He's one of my mods here in the channel. He's also an excellent streamer in his own right. And he is a professional chef. So uh, let's go see what he's getting himself into. So we're going to go raid Greeny Trini. Yes, got the thing right. And I'll get you the raid call. Here at the Library of Lore, we use Library Raid. You've been bookmarked with the heart emote and wave emote of the channel if you are a sub. If you are not a sub, you can use the Twitch Raid and the Tomb Raid emotes. In either case, sub or non-sub, you are always welcome to use any emote you feel is fun and appropriate for a raid. Just copy the raid message, arrange the emotes you want to use the way you want them to appear. It'll all be good in my book. So, uh, yeah, let's get over to Greeny's channel. I will be back tomorrow night. I'm not certain what we're going to be playing. Tomorrow is Fantastical Friday, which means it's the night that I play RPGs. Now, Skyrim is an RPG. We might do some more Skyrim, actually, if I can get it modded up sufficiently in the meantime. But I've got a busy afternoon tomorrow, and I don't have a lot of time this evening because I'm going to be... Well, I'm, I'm already exhausted, so I'm probably not going to work on it at all. Uh, so we'll have to see what happens. I might... I was kind of speculating maybe we should get back into some Fallout 4. I have to see. Um, but there's lots of other RPGs that we can work on too. We've still got Baldur's Gate 3. I would love to work with our uh, Bard playthrough a bit more. Whatever I end up doing though, you know it's going to be a good time. So I uh, hope to see you back here for that. In the meantime, let's go see what Greeny's up to. So I'll see you over in his channel. Have yourselves a wonderful rest of your night, day, evening, whatever it is where you are in the world. And I'll catch you again real soon. Bye for now. Very nice. <laughs> wow! <laughs> They're not joking at all. <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> This is fine. It's okay. Oop. What are they doing? Feeding the poor guy to the crabs? Gracias. You got it. Where am I gonna wanna stop these? Whoops. A little before that. Oh, maybe it'll come here. Okay, more locally to you then. Yeah, I... Oops. Whoops. Thanks, Auto Drive. Oh my. Now you know why they wanted to close the hole behind you. You have become the unwilling victim of the dreaded cave squid. Tough luck. <laughs> 